This is Moritala Mohamed Airport, Nigeria, and today's date is the 2nd of February 2024. They have just taken the light at the airport. There is no there is power outage at the airport, so you can imagine what it looks like. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time of coming across my video, please just do me the favor and hit the subscription button. Thank you so much. So um, the video you've just watched now and the voice you heard there is the voice of um, Dele Momodu. I believe every, everybody knows who Dele Momodu is. Dele Momodu is the, Ovation, uh, is the owner of Ovation Magazine and he's also a politician, a Nigerian politician. Well, um, you know, he has made the video and uh, and he posted it on his IG page, you know, for for people, for the world to see. And you can see how he is painting Nigeria in a bad light, you know. At first, when I saw it, I was like, why should a light, why should light even go off in an international airport? Is that supposed to be? But on the second thought, I was like, ah, there can no, there, there, there can always be glitch in everywhere. You know, there can always be glitch. And I believe that light they took there might not even last up to like two, three minutes and it will come back. Maybe something must have happened, you know. Something must have happened that made that light to go off. It's not, it's not a usual practice in the international airport for light to go out, to go off like that. But the funny thing that happened is that this is the first time, I think this is the first time I said that I will see Nigerians standing up for Nigeria, standing up for the country. They really, really dragged the Dele Momodu on, on the post he made. You know, many people were complaining why he is painting Nigeria in a bad light. Why is it that if anything happens, you come up and start sharing videos and making it look as if Nigeria is bad, or even though, yes, I know Nigeria is bad, but must you paint it in a bad light like this, posting this into, you know, on social media for the whole world to see? And most, or most people were saying that this, this is just... This is something that always happens in other places. It happens in international, as in abroad. It happens everywhere. So Nigeria, why should Nigeria be an exception? And why should Dele Momodu of all people, instead of you to be posting or doing something positive about the country, but rather you are here posting um, a video just to paint Nigeria bad because you are on the opposition. You are on the other side of the divide, you know, and you came online and start saying all this, you know, all these you are saying. After all, are you not a politician? Haven't you been in this country? Are you not part of the people who ruined this country? Did you enter politics today? You say Nigeria is 64 years old. When did you enter politics? In the days of Nadeko, where you were in politics. What have you, do, what have you done to better Nigeria? And you, he came online to post all this. Okay, just sit back and watch the whole video. This is Moritala Mohamed Airport, Nigeria. And today's date is the 2nd of February, 2024. They have just taken the light at the airport. There is no, there is power outage at the airport. So you can imagine what it looks like. At an international airport, there is no power running, no light. What a shame. What a shame. What a shame. It's unbelievable. Nigeria. Nigeria. After 64 years of independence, they still can't get it right. Corruption everywhere. It's unbelievable. This is very, very sad. Very sad. Very sad. So um, let me read some of the comments. Nigerians are, are roasting him, you know, under, that, under this video he made. So this person wrote can you please promote what is also good in nigeria you became famous showing glamorous events that shines bright light on nigeria being in opposition should not take away what what you have built for decades another person that wrote i was at the airport stop painting nigeria bad stop painting nigeria in a bad light the light came back in a matter of seconds nigeria will be great so even though that that video stayed like uh, more than almost one minute, not in a matter of seconds. Okay, let's go ahead. This other person wrote, Few months ago, the roof of JFK airport was leaking badly in New York 
and caught so and caused so much damages. Do they post it online, shaming their country? Some weeks ago, Denver Airport, as well as leaking badly from the roof, cost millions of dollars damage. Do they put it online saying shit? Why you all just crazy in this country so fast to put everything online? Everything just to show the world your country is a bad place to visit. Other countries facing more situations, I believe you say, doesn't do that. Okay, you just put it that way. And you blaming why someone people hates Nigeria when all you do at any slightest moment is to paint the country bad. That's how he put his English. I don't know what he wanted to write there. So this other person now wrote, I can see the love for my country in a comment section. So alarming. God bless everyone that promotes us positively to the world and puts to shame those that negatively present their fatherland to outsiders. Honestly, because in this country we are quick to blame to promote or rather to yes to promote this country in a in a in a negative you know position i don't know why it's like that anything that happens you see people running online to come and you know just show the world let the world know that nigeria is bad or something like that then when you now go out there and start and they start treating you anyhow you, you start crying that and you've forgotten that it is you that made made it to be like that when you come online and you start promoting your country negatively when you get the, the repercussion, you start blaming the government. So let's, let's continue. And the other person now said, or wrote, And so, I have been on a number of engineering design team working on airports as an electrical engineer. I know the level of redundancy we put in a place, but shit like this happens in, even in first, first world. Leave us alone. We will get it better soon. Yeah, definitely we are going to get it better. You can't continue like this forever. Another person wrote, stop putting every negative thing about Nigeria on the internet. It doesn't speak well of our country. Every country has what they are dealing with and you don't get to see it online, which is the truth. Every country have their own problem. Every country have their own issues they are dealing with. But they, they don't come online to be showing it to the world. But Nigerians are quick. They are, we are just behaving as if this internet of a thing, we are just seeing it for the first time. That anything that happens, we, let me be the first person to post it online. Let me just be the first person to post it online. Why are we like this? And when you won't see Nigerians posting the positive things about our country. We have, so, we have so many good things happening in this country. But you will not see people posting it the way they post negative posts or ne negative videos on the internet. Let's go ahead. This other person now wrote, Dele Alatunje. Well, whatever that means. Like I will always continue to say, Oju, oh my goodness, this is Europe, I can't speak. Nigeria will be great whether you like it or not. Your hate won't stop the, the work of God in my great country, Nigeria. Dele Ireo, I believe Usi Rebaz will understand that. This other person now wrote, it has happened in Atlanta airport before. So what's the big deal about that? Another person wrote, please, let's promote good and positive things about our country, Nigeria, sir. This is a big shame to you, sir, for posting this about our own fatherland, you are losing your respect at all levels, sir. I have lost respect for you. Circumstantial situations like this often happen even in Europe. Stop trying to drag down our nation simply because your favorite article failed the election, shameless man. Another person I wrote, I beg, shut up. If you have if you have nothing good to say, if you can't wait for the lights to return, then go home and stop making noise. <laughs> This other person now wrote, Uncle Dele, why are you so fast in promoting negativity about Nigeria? We all know we have challenges in Nigeria, but you don't need to remind us. Another person now wrote, every sector has failed in this, well, he wanted to say every sector has failed in this country. So sad. Anyway, so another person now wrote, Adele Momodu Ovation, as an compatriot and a learned person that you call yourself, you are not supposed to paint your country bad on social media this other person now wrote this happened in my country south africa cyprus us which i saw on the news and many more anything can happen in an airport this is not an excuse but things happen another person wrote this is daily it's shame you are doing this to your own country shit happens everywhere your master is part of what we are going through today alat alanituji whatever why are you doing this now, sir? So, um, these are the much we can take. And as I said earlier, Dele Momodu, you shouldn't have done this. This is not what you're supposed to be doing. 
you know, you are supposed to be doing every, everything to promote Nigeria, even if you are not in the ruling party, that you are in opposition. All you need to do is to criticize the government constructively, not coming online to show the whole world that there is no light in an international airport. Some people might even be laughing at you that, what is this man saying? We witness this in our country. Why make it look as if it's the first, ten, or it's the first time such a thing is happening? So these our leaders or our politicians should, no matter the uh, political party you are, try to promote it positively, even if you don't agree with the government of the day. Thank you so much for listening and don't forget to like my video and also subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a great day.